Good night, Brian. Good night. Brian, brush up on your chest, huh? Oh, I will. Everybody keeps telling me that. Because it's true. You know, you and I really ought to take a couple of weeks off and go to the lake. You could just sit on the porch and uh, watch the water. I am fishing mind you, too. Do nothing at all. All right, sweetheart. Okay. That means Victoria, mind your own business. After all, he's only your husband. Your husband's just fine, sweetheart. Just uh, maturing a little bit, that's all. It's about time, isn't it? After all, I have a family, responsibilities. Uh, I can't go on being the happy-go-lucky Irishman trip. Really? I'd quite like to. What if, uh, what if something happens to me that happens to my family? I won't even listen to such talk. Now, what on earth makes you say something like that? I'm sorry, didn't you know that behind that happy-go-lucky Irishman there is a gross, brooding Irishman? Yes, I believe that. But, darling, let me tell you something. We've had our share of tragedy. You and I are due for a long, long stretch of pure bliss. You're aware of you. That's right. Now kiss me. What kind of cheap place is this? It came for keeping pretzels and peanuts around for the good old ready drinking customers, huh? Red, why don't you have some dinner? No.
Thank you. Good night. 